So I'm doing a Dolls Kill haul. Um, of course, what I'm wearing is stuff that I bought because I was just kind of trying a couple things on. Um, <clears throat> a lot of stuff I bought is a little bit small for me right now. They had a lot of stuff that was clearanced out and on sale. That was like a size smaller than what I wear. And I'm losing weight, so it doesn't matter anyway. It's a slow process, but, you know, I can go from a large to an extra large eventually. Not, or from an extra large to a large eventually. Not a big deal. So, some things I can't really try on because they're, it's just not going to work. Now, I have a couple things on. I might look ridiculous. Actually, I look good, like, right here. Now, if I backed out more. Or if I took this coat off, because you could see my bra. And it looks ridiculous. Uh, I will say this dress. Like, uh, you know, it's an extra large. It fits. It's definitely see-through. You can see my bra. Um, I'm not sure. I wish this part was tighter, so I wouldn't feel the need where I'd have to wear a bra. But I just like... The material is also see-through. So, like, even if this part was tighter, you'd still have to wear pasties or something. So your nips aren't on display. And then there's this whole thing, like, this dress is not meant for somebody who's 5'3". Like, it's supposed to stretch way farther down. But, like, then my crack's exposed, too, in my underwear. Um, I'm wearing a pair of pants that I got under this, because those I put on first. Uh... Let's see if I can tilt this down. So, I'm going to lift this dress up. So, I tried these pants on first. These are actually a large, and I got them on. But, even though these stretch awesome, like, awesome. They're super long. I had to jack them up my legs. And, if you stretch them, be wary. Your underwear is going to show. But they were out of an XL. And I have another pair of pants like that that I got. Same material. Um, same size. So I'll show those. Which are these like kind of wild acid trippy pants. But I mean like look at the stretch on these damn things. But you know be forewarned with the material. You can only stretch these so much before they become see-through. So, let me lift this up a little more. I would not wear those until I lost a little more weight, just so it's not see-through. We got this uh, dress. I did get this in an XL. Um, I think this was one of the more expensive items I got. This was 30. It was on clearance. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm taking these little tags off. Now, the only thing I wasn't sure about were these little sewn-in bralette cups because I have a triple D. Like, not gonna lie about it. So having this like underwire here and this very small boobage area these will be a very cleavagey dress but my other thing is that even if I can wear this without a bra uh, this might also be something where you would need a pasty or something and I do think even though this material is stretchy it is a little bit short and that my rear end will be hanging out of this um, so I might just need to lose a little weight for that, just so the butt isn't as big and lifting the back of the dress, which is just something you deal with when you have a big ass. So, um, here's some of the sets that I got. They're like just little two-piece, like these were hella cheap, so it's just like a tube top and a skirt. I got another one that's like these little kind of sh long shorts would be a better word for this. Now, I'm sure this was on clearance because I'm sure a lot of people thought this was ass ugly, like, but I think it's cute, so 
fuck it. That's that's my policy. Fuck it. I get this. Where are these? The bottoms? No, this. This is a top, I believe. Okay. Yeah. I think this one goes like this. Yeah, this is something I could wear without a bra because it has this like wrap around. And it would hold them suckers in place. And these actually, these are stretchy. So these you lace up in the back. Which is nice. And a little zippy bag. I got this. I believe this is an XL. This is like this little XL. It's got a little, no, this is definitely like a faux corset thing, obviously, like, you're not really, there's no boning in it or anything, but it's a corset style top with PVC, it's got a little zipper, and I might actually try to wear this tonight, uh, if I decide to go out, you know, social anxiety, but, uh, I might actually try to wear this tonight. Uh, let's see if I can actually get it on. But sometimes it really depends on their brands and the material. Like sometimes the XLs run small, sometimes the larges run bigger. Uh, this one definitely has a zipper, which helps. Oh yeah, this runs smaller. Definitely not wearing this thing. That's not happening. That's not happening one bit. This is like a uh, large versus an XL. Like I said, losing weight doesn't matter. Would I would like to wear it tonight? Sure. Do I have to wear it tonight? No. I don't have to do shit. I don't have to leave the house. It's just one of those things. I look ridiculous without the damn coat on now. It just yeah, this just does not look good without something over it. I just, I don't... This is a dress that was not meant, really, for a big girl. Like, I mean, not meant to look good on a big girl. Wear whatever the fuck you want. Like, you can definitely style it to make it look better. Like, I think it looks better with this coat on. But, like, in what world are you wearing, like, something that exposes all your skin and then you throw a coat on it? Like, the weather would have to be kind of interesting for that. Then again, I live in Missouri, so we get some interesting weather. Did I say weather? Weather. Weather. I can speak sometimes. Uh, I got this, like, cheerleader set, which has some really shitty pom-poms in it. Don't care about those. Those can go fuck themselves. I mostly just wanted, like, and they actually had an XL. So I got the devil's cheerleader skirt. I mostly just wanted this damn skirt, man. Now, I do see something that's disappointing to me. When I see in the picture, I thought these little pentagrams would be on every other pelt. No, it's not. So that's disappointing. Still cute. Still like this damn top too. Like, come on now. And I would probably even wear these pieces separately. I will say that these little straps, while they're stretchy, which is nice, they are made of kind of a scratchy-ish material. But, you know, we make do for fashion sometimes. But the skirt, man, would be heckin' cute. So, that's one of the things I got that well, more than likely fit me. I mean, the skirt would be a little bit butt exposing, but I think with a cheerleader skirt in general, I would wear my biker shorts, so it's not like, it's not a big deal at all. And now I got this like see-through dress. This one is a Club X dress. Their Club X stuff is always fucking expensive. Like, this dress, I got this for nine and change on the clearance. And this dress is a Club X dress. I think the original price on this dress was like 80 something dollars. Like, in what world? 
but yeah okay so this one i think i spent 12 on this one i think the original price on this one was like 54 dollars but i really like this kind of like trippy like kind of looks cool on the camera too but yeah i like these sort of like you could put these over a swimsuit a body a bodysuit swimsuit it's all kind of the same fucking thing at this point like made out of similar material too i got this little corseted ish boob harness i don't know what else to call it it just looks like a boob harness to me like if you want to lift lift the children up and not wear a bra this is definitely like you know this might work with this dress now that i think about it kind of not quite but like something like that this would actually kind of be helpful in certain situations like if i don't want to wear a bra but i want to like have a look it's a look oh boy the plastic is getting real over here did i oh i dropped something oh okay so with that devil cheerleader thing i didn't realize it came with these underwear <laughs> things which uh you know honestly i would just probably just wear these in general they say go to hell like that's just kind of my attitude sometimes i mean i've been i think i've been kind of cussing a lot in this video i mean i'm a small channel i don't fucking get monetization at all so like what do i care okay the other thing i got was this like harness set I will say it says one size this is one size fits smallish though I don't think this is an impossible thing to modify or fix um, just as far as like anyone who's ever done anything with jewelry you can definitely add loops and rings and stuff pretty easily, or I could just literally wear it without buckling it. And it comes with a top also, which, I mean, I don't know whose boobs that's covering, but okay. Whose boobs, baby, whose boobs you covering? I don't know why that song came to my head. Or like my, yeah, whatever. What am I doing? I don't know. I got this little- this thing was like $3.50. Not even kidding. This little tube top. And like, I'm not like some crazy uh, pothead, but, you know, occasionally. But, not occasionally a pothead, just occasionally smoke. But, I sort of ironically will wear stuff, and this is kind of cute. Like, come on, it's sparkly, like, what's not the love? It's just a little boob tube. And like stuff like this, this is like the type of stuff where I literally will just like wear something over it like that. And it's a it's a thing, it's a look. This video is getting so long. And I'm like just about halfway through this. So this is gonna be a long ass thing. And it's good that I'm not sitting here trying to try on everything. Like I know sometimes people prefer that, but I already know a lot of this stuff isn't gonna fit 100% like and even some of the things that will fit it's still eh, you know it's all right what size did I get in this I think I got a large in this yep it's a large now this has been on their site forever it's finally the clearance is low enough on this one plus the sale on top of it but of course they're out of extra large but this is so fucking cute and this is another thing where it's like it's a crochet thing so you definitely will want to wear like a swimsuit bodysuit or something under it but i mean come on that is so cute and i like the bright colors for that so bright colors who likes bright colors i don't know anybody who likes bright colors sarcasm 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 but like Obviously, I like bright colors, like what the fuck I'm wearing right now. Look at my fucking whole apartment aesthetic. Okay, I got this, this little bra top thing. 
This is, uh, okay, I'm having trouble telling the back from the front, like, wait, is this a bra top or is this, no, these are bottoms. <laughs> That's why I was so confused. These are straps that go on the side. These are like oil slick style bottoms. They're kind of holographic. You got to get on them or have them on the right light from here. They just look kind of bronzy, but I got these because I got a top that is similar from I Heart Raves, and I was just going to use those as my bottoms. Cheap enough. It is what it is. Okay. I got this skirt, which this is also a large. I mean, is it not obvious why I got this skirt? Like, sequins? And like, let's just be annoying. Let's do some skirt ASMR. And I'm done with that. I just had, these are also kind of that oil slick type, uh, I don't know if these are, I guess these are holographic because you're catching different colors. Or no, those are my lights. Those are definitely my lights. Oh my god, I was middle recording and I accidentally like touch my screen, god forbid, and my camera turned off. This is what I get for not using my phone. I'm borrowing this camera from my ex-boyfriend. It looks nicer, but now I'm gonna have to like edit the two pieces of video together, which I wasn't trying to do yet because I haven't quite got something on my computer yet for that, so now I'm going to have to find something. <sighs> Life. Anyway, moving on with this bullshit. Now I can't even keep track of how long my video is because I... It's in two parts. What is... What? What? I am so confused. What are you even? Like... Okay, are you, you're a sleeve. You're a sleeve. You are my boob exposure. Okay. Figured it out. This is a little top. Pretty sure this is large. This is one of those little two-piece sets I got. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is this neck. I'm a little weird about things up on my neck. Depending on my mood. But I do like that this is... Got a little crackly hollow thing going on, and it comes with a matching short, which, uh, I mean, even if I don't wear the shirt that much, like, once I can fit into these shorts, which, I mean, they stretch, so, I mean, like, maybe 30 pounds, maybe, I'd probably get away with less than that, but, because I don't think these are me see-through, the only thing I'm worried about is cracking this, because this is that type of material that could crack easily and these are something you definitely want to be careful when washing but like I'd wear the shit out of these not kidding I just like tight like biker short type things especially for like raids I'm getting near the bottom of this mess with these slime green pants these are also a large, so I definitely know, especially with this material, that these are not going to fit right now. And these will, like they have a slight stretch, but these are definitely like maybe a size 12. So these are like a down the line item. But I mean, I kind of uh, enjoy the fact that this zipper literally goes all the way around. It's, a, it's an interesting concept, to say the least. Now, that's the only shitty thing if your goddamn zipper breaks. But, I mean, they're cute. It's always clearance items with me. I don't think I really ever buy anything retail. Like, rarely. Just in life in general, do not buy things retail. Rarely. I mean, you got your groceries and that stuff. I try to buy stuff on sale, but, you know, sometimes you got to buy a thing of milk and milk's like never on sale so but this is just more with consumer good 
I guess food's still considered consumer good. You know, just fucking adore me. <laughs> uh, I got this awesome caution top. I mean, like, if my words don't warn the boys, my boobs can. Right? <laughs> As if they listen. And then I got the skirt, which is not a set, but I just sort of... Oh, oh, I thought the skirt was the same material as the caution top. I'm wrong. This is another set, but it does kind of look like it matches the caution top. But, like, how cute is this top? Like, I love these little kind of, uh, what do they call this? A heart? Heart-shaped chest top? Or Cupid? Cupid top. That's what they call that. And then these little shorts, and they got these little lines on the side. Oh, that was the back. These are the front. These are cute. Get near the bottom. Here's something that's easy to try on. Just a little pentagram necklace. Or pentacle, depending on how you want to wear it. But I think that might be annoying, so... We're just going to go hella goth and just throw on the pentagram. Of course, my hair is getting caught in this right now, so I'm just not going to tighten it all the way because that's going to be... <sighs> but yeah, I thought it was cute. Actually, it's not too bad. I like leaving it a little loose, so I'm not like... <coughs> trying to literally choke myself but I'm gonna take it off right now because my hair is like literally like destroying being destroyed let's see I can't even keep track of what I have left I think I have four things left there's just literally so much plastic and they sent me all my stuff okay so i did a few different orders but they sent my stuff in like literally eight different packages i think i had three different orders and i got like eight packages which has never happened to me without a before so i don't know if they had like different warehouses things were coming from but it was definitely a thing i got this two-piece a little checker skirt a little bodycon no i mean this isn't too fancy or anything and then this little top, which I guess this is one of the large sets I got, so that would explain why this is a little bit on the smaller side, but it definitely stretches quite a bit, but I wouldn't try to put it on now because I know that won't really fit. Why are you double bagging this stuff? Tissue paper, plastic, everything. Everything's just all over the place. I thought that was cute. This is like, come on, let's cooperate. Sleeves. This little top has got a little uh, zipper there. It does kind of remind me of like a very like uh, 60s color block thing going on. This came with a skirt. Or is this a skirt for shorts? This is a skirt. Same deal zipper and the color block I really do like that kind of like retro thing oh apparently I had five things left because I still have a pair of shoes that I gotta show and this was the last package I think so why is this rolled into a ball Okay, I think this is a skirt. It's got these little zippers on the side. It's very stretchy. This is a XL, but I think this, because this is Dow, this is current mood, so that could go either way on the sizing. But I definitely can tell just by looking at it, even with the stretch, that that booty, yeah, we ain't going there yet. I do like this 
zipper on the side and it's like a, that big thing and you can have a little split there if you want which I kind of like that I do like the material and the pattern is cute okay where my other iron is We got another little pleather type item. This is a two-piece set. I somehow found this in an XL, which like never happens with their stuff, but which I mean with this material, obviously like the other thing, this is gonna fit like a large, but still cute. I mean, I'll be pretty hyped when I can fit into that. It came with this little top. I mean, come on now. Like it's sexy. What can I say? Uh, it's called from Excellent Mon Moments Leather. Wow, I thought it said Monsters. Yeah, I hadn't seen this brand on there before, but they had a bunch of lingerie type stuff. That was the only XL I could find through them. Oh, the shoes. Got these shoes. Now it's funny, I've seen this like off brand before called Cupid. I bought a bunch of shit from this brand. Uh, oh my god, I was in high school, so I'm surprised it's even still a thing. But like, I had to get these shoes. I mean, come on, they were like ten dollars. It's winter now, like, well, fall technically, but like it's gonna snow tonight like it feels like winter at least today but yeah so these are heckin cute and hey i mean i could be one of those people that wear socks with sandals fashion crime of the world right but what do i care i mean most people aren't gonna like what i wear anyway most people are boring as fuck so like if I wear socks with cute sandals, who cares? <laughs> um, I believe I'm going to double check this charter bag because when I get packages, I just kind of throw them in my little reusable bags. I literally have this pile of plastic over here. Like it is some kind of ridiculous tragedy, but yeah. So I believe I actually got everything from what I can tell. So, this video, after I combine the two parts, will definitely be over 20 minutes long. It's probably going to be like 25, which will be one of my longest videos on YouTube. Anyway, you can subscribe if you want. I'm here. I just up upload random shit. Like, literally random shit. Just pure garbage.